Hey guys, this is Freddy Osar back here with a new video and today I'm going to be making a scenic design for the play called The Mousetrap by Agatha Christie. Um, so I'm making a model of the manor house which is uh, featured in the play and so I just I really I want to share this and I hope you guys enjoy this video and whoever is actually needing to make a mousetrap model you you can definitely look at mine as an example to see how you want yours but yeah, anyways this is what I came up with this is what my idea of what the manor house would look like so let's open this there you go ta-da there's the whole picture this took me three days to make and uh, yeah and I'm very happy with it this is for my script analysis class it's due tomorrow and I have to present it but you know uh, I'm confident in it. I think it looks good. So yeah, to start off, this back here, uh, the sh the play's during a blizzard, so I decided to do the snow against the black background, which is the dark skies. And then um, for the actual manor house, I decided to go with the salmon color, and um, it's pretty much it looks simple. I mean, I I'm not a you know an artist, so that that's all I could come up with. And so yeah, and then the bottom I did blue. There's actually two different shades of blue. One is a little lighter than the other. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, I used two shades of blue. And then on the sides, I did uh, green to just lighten up the contrast between the black and the white. And um, so the green, I think it works well here. And then as, some ex as an accessory, I put this old haunted tree type of, I don't even know what this is. I super glued it down. So I think that looks cool. And then here I have a little RIP sign and a little skull. These are the watercolors I'm using. It's it's kind of old, but this is all I had right now. There you go. I'll actually add a little bit of white to like, you know, put the snow. And then here, this will this is where the house will be. So like up to here, so I can close it. That's the house. Here is my actual Monkswell mansion. Um, I didn't really go much into detail. It's just like typical <laughs> big house type. Um, so this is this will be the front like that. Oh, I can't see that. So, if, uh, okay. Let me just show you. So it'll go right here, while the rest will be up against the door. This is what my idea of the manor would look like, the guest house. Something like this. Of course, I can't make it like this because that's too complicated. But something like that, along that lines. And then, of course, you have those Victorian chairs as shown in the play. So I covered the front here. This is just an old L. Bean shoebox. And it had the logo on it, so I wanted to cover that. And now with this, it looks much more classier. And then I also got some work done on the inside. So if we could flip this. So there we go. I got the snow down. This is kind of how I wanted it to be. Um, now I just have to figure out a place to put it there like that. Uh, should I like super glue it? And I just I kind of need to think about that. But so I didn't know how to put these together, so I did the impossible. Yes, I stitched them by hand. And you know what? Um, it actually holds up pretty nice. It, it is a little hard because to get the needle through the the cardboard is it hurts. But as you can see, it holds up pretty nice. Oh, you can't see it. But, uh, all these threads here, so, you know, and of course there are other ways of doing it, I mean the easiest is probably super gluing it, but I don't actually, I don't know if we have super glue, so this is what I'm doing, and plus this looks kind of cool, like, the stitches, kind of reminds me of Chucky. <laughs> so I have done the left side, and I just finished the right side, and I just did, um, two little holes for the the top one because um, I don't think I need to go the whole way for the top so here we go that's how it looks right now um, I think it looks fine so I finished uh, such hard work here you go back I just taped the end of these strings on the end so it won't show in the top right here so yeah pretty sturdy actually so now I just have to figure out how to put it in my box so yeah, of course no and then 
goes right there so it's something like that okay so after all the pain and hard work this is where i am right now i just finished sewing this to the ground i mean to the model so it's actually pretty t um pretty firm right now pretty tight and um my fingers are dead right now but um but at least it worked i mean you guys i don't recommend it this way just use super glue or some other way this is hard this hurts your finger but um this is what i had right now so that's what i did i mean if you're really looking for a challenge then do it do that yes i am using a q-tip i don't know where all my brushes went so you know that's what i have So that's where the rest will go. Oh, and look, I found super glue. Um, so I will super, super glue down those. Um, I'm not mad that I didn't find it before. It's fine. I'm glad of what I did with the sewing thing. I'll just super glue it now. Super glue is amazing. Okay, so I just finished with pretty much my model. Um, I know it doesn't have much detail on the on the ground, but you know what? That's all I have right now. So, but anyways, um, I think it looks pretty cool, and I thank you for watching my video. And if you get some ideas then that's great um so anyways thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time bye and subscribe